welcome to the Old Time Radio Westerns. I'm your host, Andrew Rines, and let's get into this episode. This episode's going to be Hoplon Cassidy. Original air dates is August 11th, 1941, and in this episode, this is an audition episode, so the concepts are being worked out and trying to work out who the character Hoplon Cassidy is. This won't really represent what the rest of the series will be like, but this is kind of where it started. Let's get into this episode. The title of this episode is going to be Audition Program. I hope you enjoy, and again, thanks for listening. From Hollywood, California, the Columbia Broadcasting System presents Hopalong Cassidy, great Western character created by Clarence E. Mulford and brought to the screen for Paramount release by Harry Sherman. This is another new CBS program plainly marked for future reference. A roving cowboy, like a knight riding out of the west, a lone figure gallops through the prairies and mountains of the land he loves, lending a hand to those who need him, solving problems in his own way. The greatest of all cowboys, in fact or fancy, the foreman of the famous Bar 20 Ranch, here he comes, Hopalong Cassidy. Look out there. Hello, Hoppy, what's up? Hustlers and Eagle Pass. Hopalong Cassidy, everywhere in the west, that name is feared by lawbreakers. Hurry up, you birds. Kings and Brands, let's get this herd hey, moving. Boss, who's that coming? Holy smoke! Get moving! Every man for himself! That's half one on Cassidy! Oh, oh, More than one outlaw has gone gunning for Hopalong Cassidy. Well, Cassidy, it looks like I've got you where I want you at last. Careful, Benson. Don't go for that gun. Ooh, right through the arm! He ought to know better than to try and outdraw Hopalong Cassidy. <laughs> Wherever folks are in trouble, hop along, Cassidy is the man to fix it. You're let go of me! Oh, no, you don't, sister. Come here. All right, three times. Hop along, Cassidy. Roll, 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 onto an unseen goal. Swing it along to the song of the pioneer. We'll ride, ride, ride over the big fight. Swing it along to the song of the pioneer. The whole West is Hopalong Cassidy's range. But Hoppy and his pals are happiest when they're at home on the Bar 20, the famous Buck Peters Ranch in Arizona where Hoppy is foreman and where the top hands in the West gather in the bunkhouse at the end of the day. It's Johnny, Hopalong's protege, who is speaking. Hoppy, I found a break in the drift fence down on that West pasture. That's so? I'll send one of the boys down tomorrow. Okay. Right now, I'd like to hear some music. How about a song, boys? Sure, Hoppy. Skinny's guitar just got here. Dick brought it out from town with the mail. Sure is pretty, too, Hoppy. Listen. (laughs) Well, well, old rain, my work is through. There's a round of in the sky. I give my... I'm going to burn my brand on the silvery hide of a shooting star and take a ride to a land beyond the great divide to the round of in the sky. Here along, go me up the trail, high tail, get along. Here comes Buck. I wonder what he wants. Don't know. Guess I'll go outside and see. Hello, Hoppy. Boys sound pretty happy tonight. Yes, Buck. The roundup's over. They're celebrating. That's fine. Good fun. Hoppy, I got a little job for you. Red Connors can run the place for a while. Sure he can. What's up? You remember Judge Marlin from down Twin Forks Way? Why, sure. Went up into Utah for his wife's health. Oh, that's right. Well, I had a letter from him today. His wife passed on. 
The judge ain't as young as he used to be. Said in his letter that he's having trouble. Hmm. That's too bad. My hunch is that the judge is having plenty of trouble, Hoppy. I thought it might be a good idea if you'd kind of drift up that way. Might be. You mind if I take Johnny and California along? Take anybody you want. Good. And by the way, let's just say that it's a cattle buying trip. Good idea. And give my best to the judge. I'll do that. of you to put us up in your own home, Judge. Well, I'd have sure felt put out if you'd gone anywhere else, Hoppy. Dad has told me so much about you, Mr. Cassidy. We've been hoping for a long time you might visit us. <laughs> We'd been hoping, too, if we'd known about your good cooking, Miss Myron. <laughs> or if we'd have known the Judge had such a pretty daughter. <laughs> there he goes again, Happy. Yeah. Oh, go on, California. <laughs> oh, hello, Bart. Well, visitors. Uh, Bart, this is Hopalong Cassidy and two of his boys from the Bar 20, Johnny Nelson and California. My nephew, Bart Collins. How do you do? Sorry I couldn't get back for dinner. Ed Crandall looking over the spread again. He sure is itching to buy it. You selling your ranch, Judge? Well, I don't want to, Hoppy, but it looks like I might have to. We've been losing too many cattle lately. I had a fine big herd at one time, Hoppy. But somebody's been running them off a few at a time and getting to the point where we don't know what to do. Have you done anything about it, Judge? All that we can... But every time we trail a herd, we wind up in the same place. They leave a plain trail over to Silver Creek, then they just disappear. Oh, I've tried everything. I tell you, whoever's taking these cattle is plenty smart. Hoppy, it's got me licked. I'm afraid I'm going to have to take Crandall's offer. And me with the best water rights in the country. But, Dad, I don't trust Crandall. Now, look, Myra, I don't trust Crandall either. He's a bad actor, but still he's offering you and Uncle Dan a chance. To get some money out of the place if you can't make a go of it. Some money is right. That's about enough to pay what we owe on the place and leave us with nothing. Uh, there's no use being bitter about it, Myra. That's the chance every cattleman takes. But I hate the idea of selling to Crandall. We all feel the same way about Crandall and his way of doing business. Every honest man in the country hates the name of Clark Crandall. Clark Crandall, eh? I wonder if he's the same one we know, Hoppy. Yep. Same one we ran out of Twin Forks, Johnny. Oh. I knew he was here. The judge... Knowing Crandall as I do, I'd like to have you hold up the sale until I get a chance to look things over. Now, wait a minute, Cassidy. We don't want to spoil the only offer we've got for the place. I think Mr. Cassidy's right, Bart. If Crandall's so anxious to buy, you'll wait a few days more. Well, it's up to you and Uncle Dan, Myra. I want to do what's best for you. Um, Hoppy, you've always been a good troubleshooter in cases like this. Will you help us out? I'll be glad to, Judge. The boys and I will follow the trail of those missing herds the first thing in the morning. That's fine. Maybe we can find something that's been overlooked before. You want to come with us, Bob? Huh? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm going to be pretty busy with Crandall coming up and everything, but I'm sure I can find time to ride with you. Oh, by the way, Bart, I put Mr. Cassidy in California in your room. You sleep downstairs tonight. That's all right with me. I could sleep anywhere. But I'll be getting to bed. Turning in, Cassidy? Yeah, I think I will. I did a lot of riding today. Come on, California. Uh, Johnny, you can share my room with me. You ready to turn in? No, I, I'm not sleepy, Judge. I think I'll just sit here for a while with Myra. Oh. Shall I uh, get out the family album? <laughs> Don't bother. Johnny's just interested in looking at one member of the Go family. On, get out of here, California. Come on, California. <laughs> Good night, Hoppy. Your room's right up the stairs. Thanks, Judge. Good night. Well, I'll see you in the morning, Bob. Oh, wait a minute, Cassidy. I didn't want to say anything in front of Myra and the Judge. But Clark Crandall's gunning for you. He knows you're here. He's been gunning for me for a long time. I know. But he means business. Take my tip and be on your guard every minute, as long as you're here. Hmm. Well, thanks, Bob. Good night. Come on, California. Good night. Hey, that Clark's a pretty nice fellow, Hoppy. Yeah. We never should have let Crandall out of Twin Forks, though. Yeah. Bad penny always turns up again somewhere. Well, here we are. You got a match, Hoppy? No, wait a minute. Stand over there. What for? Where's the lamp here? I can't see a thing. Oh, here it is. I'll put it on the table there. Now get over by the wall. What's this all about, Hoppy? Stay out of sight now, California. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there's a the light. 
Anybody's watching, they can see what's going on in here. Well, who do you watch? Put out that light. That's just what I thought. Come on, California. Get Johnny and the horses. We're going to trail that bushwhacker. Sure, just like we're smoothing along and coming in to see the sights. <laughs> Shut up, Poppy. I heard this is a tough town. Don't look like it to me. Was you ever in a tough town, California? Was I? Why, I was in Tombstone when it was booming. Now, there was a tough town. I saw four shooting there just while I was tying up my horse. Had to blast a couple of armors myself. They come up to me spoiling for a fight. My sister was California's just... dreaming again, Hoppy. What are we going to do with him? Just let him keep on bragging about how tough he is, Johnny. <laughs> Someday somebody will make him prove it. Good. I'd like to see him try it. Why, just... Hey! Hey, engines! I'm here, lad! Oh, oh, hold on, California. That's just a shooting <laughs> gallery, California. Fine thing. Shooting gallery in a tough town like this. <laughs> <All> right. Did <laughs> you see him start running, Hoppy? <laughs> Step right up and hit the bullseye. Why, I remember down in Tombstone. Oh, shut up. <laughs> ah, never mind, old timer. Let's tie our horses here. Right. Uh, uh, Paradise Saloon, huh? Shores lit up. Looks like the hottest spot in town. Yeah. I reckon the trail leads right in there, boy. Remember now, California. Not too many drinks. Why, Hoppy, you know you never let me have nothing but sarsaparilla. <laughs> What'll it be for you, gentlemen? Oh, I'll have a... Asperilla all around. Yeah, that's right. That's a very refreshing drink, California. Let's sit down here at this table and listen to the music. In the gloaming, oh, my darling, when the lights are dim and low, and the quiet... Pretty. Yeah, but we're here on business. Hoppy, look who's coming over. It's Crandall. He's our business. Well, just like old times. Welcome to Stony Creek, Cassidy. I heard how well you were doing here, Crandall. Yeah. Thought I'd drop in and see you. Yeah, I sure appreciate that. But I guess you'll be moving on in the morning, won't you? Maybe. I know how it is on these cattle buying trips. You have to keep moving. Sometimes. There's a lot of fine stock up in Grass Valley. A lot of fine cattle here, too. Or there was. Till the rustlers moved in. Yeah. Too bad, ain't it? I think it is. You aiming to do something about it? Maybe. Hoppy. We're collecting the crowd. Sit tight, Johnny. Cassidy, you're off your range, ain't you? I've always made a habit of riding where I wanted to, Crandall. Things are different here than they were in Twin Forks. This time I'm in the saddle. And I'm warning you to keep your hands off. Sorry, Crandall. I'm not taking your advice. If you've got any more to say, you can find me at Judge Marlin's ranch. Come on, boy. Get up, man. Get Cassidy first. No, you don't. California, the light. Hey, I can't see him. Oh. Let go, Hoppy. Oh. Outside, you guys. Watch the door, Hoppy. Oh, let him go. Yeah. Well. Oh. Uh, looks like we got the place to ourselves, Hoppy. I don't think we want it. Come on. Yeah. Let's go outside. Hey, what you limping for, California? Who's limping? You are. Oh, I need nothing. 
One of them varmints kicked me in the shins. I'm very sorry, though. Wait a minute. Who's this coming? You all right, Cassidy? It's fine. Sure, we're all right. Why? Well, you got away from the house in an awful hurry. I heard the shot, and by the time I got out of the house, you fellas were riding away. Yeah, we trailed a bushwhacker into town. Did you find him? I don't know. But we had a talk with Cranville. Yeah, and we had a lot of fun, too. <laughs> we cleaned out the Paradise Saloon. I ought to see me. Eight men. You were lucky, Cassidy. That Crandall's a dangerous man. Frankly, he's got me worried. Maybe we can worry him some after we look over the ranch in the morning. <laughs> thousand head of my cattle have been driven up this stream, Hoppy. The rustlers always bring them this way? Yep. When they get a little farther up, they just disappear. Right at Shoshoki Falls. Bart's trailed them time after time. Yeah, I don't know what to make of it. Cattle can't just fly away. Well, they walked this far. Plenty of signs of them along the banks here. There's the waterfall right up ahead. Say, right pretty spot. Isn't that romantic, Miss Myra? You come in California? Yep. What's the idea riding in the middle of the creek? Because Hoppy says so. Come on. All right, let's ride up on the bank here. Oh, come on, boy. Up. Up. Come on. Boy. Come on. Come on. So this is where the trail ends, right by the waterfall. Yep. Ends right here, Hoppy, right here with no place to go. We've scouted both ways from here for miles. Not a sign of a trail. Well, I'd say there's only one answer to that. What do you mean, Hoppy? Cattle don't climb the cliffs, and they don't stay here, so the only place for them to go is right through that waterfall. Well, where does that sit them? On the other side of the waterfall. Hi, horses. Let's go on in. Oh. Uh, cut some torches from that dead tree, boy. How do you aim to get through, Cassidy? That water will pound you to pieces. It doesn't pound the cattle to pieces, Bob. Besides, there's a little ledge that leads in there from the side. Oh? Hoppy, you ain't aiming to walk under that water, are you? No. I'm going to climb along that ledge there and go in right behind me. It doesn't look very safe to me, Cassidy. We can get through, all right. Uh, Judge, I'll lead the way. You stay close to me. All right. I'll help Myra. You go ahead, California. I'll bring up the rear. Watch right. your step now. Take my hand now, Myra. Careful. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Hoppy. Bart fell. Hey, Come on, let's get him a hand. Oh, Reach down there, Johnny. Get hold of him. Easy now. Oh, my leg. Easy. Now. I landed right on a rock. Hey, uh, let me see it, Bart. I know. No, don't worry about me. You go ahead. I'll be all right till you get back. Are you sure you're all right? Sure. Sure, just help me up the bank, will you? Okay. Yeah, come on. Okay, all right. Here we got him, Hoppy. Here, Johnny. You all go on with Cassidy. We've got to find out what's behind those falls. Too bad you can't go with us, Bob. Well, come on, folks. Let's see where those cattle have been going. Take my hand off, Right this way. Hold on to me. I don't want to slip. I will. Watch out for that water now. Oh. Oh, it's cold. Too much water for me. Uh, now, now, over that rock. Ah, the dog gone. We're in. I didn't think we'd make it. Well, there's the answer to your disappearing cattle, Judge. Look, Looks there like you hit it right on the head, Hoppy. Will you look at that? A regular cave back in here. Uh, come on, let's get back to those falls, huh? I... Sure is big in here. I got soap coming through there, but it's worth it. Uh, where do we go from here, Hoppy? The cave just cut us off in all them tunnels. Well, that's easy, California. There's the trail the cattle left, leading right up that creek. Where do you suppose all that water comes from, Hoppy? It's way below the river that makes those falls. We'll soon find out. This stream comes from the place we're going to. Well, Judge, you satisfied? Those are your brands. That's right, Hoppy. Every head of cattle that's been stolen from me is right here. And a lot of others, too. What a setup. With those cliffs on all sides, nobody can get into this canyon or out of it without going through the cave. And there's plenty of feed and water. That's the creek that flows through the cave. Well, if I ever take up rustling, I'm going to find me a place just like this. <laughs> yeah, sure is ideal for that. But we'd better be getting out again. We've been here for a long time, and Bart's waiting for us outside. Oh, I forgot all about Bart. Well, don't worry too much. I don't think he was hurt very bad. Uh, Hoppy, I wonder if there could be another trail out of this canyon. If there is, Judge, we haven't got time to look for it. Uh, we'll go back the way we came. Are we all ready? Let's go. Yeah, we're ready. Take my arm, Myra. And I'll hold oh, on to you with one hand, Johnny, and on to... 
to Hoppy with the other. Oh, let go! Somebody's shooting from that cliff. You'll never hit him with a colt at that range, Johnny. Everybody into the cave. Come on. Hug the wall. Well, we're safe from that fella. Yeah. Here's a bum shot anyhow. I remember when I... Come on, come on. We've got to hurry. What's up, Hoppy? That must have been one of Crandall's men. Now that we found their hideout, there's no time to lose. I don't understand. This is our only way out. We'd better get out before they get round by that waterfall. We go this way, down this tunnel. No, no, we don't. We follow the stream this way. Well, here's where we left the torches. Get them lighted again. All right. We've got a long way to go before we get to that waterfall. Myra. I hope we're in time. Don't you worry, Myra. Well, we've been in worse places than this, Miss Hoppy, and we've always come out. <laughs> Reminds me of the time when I was trapped in a mine down in Arizona. But we're uh, not trapped, California. Well, neither was I. I got out all right. In fact, a rabbit dug me out. California's <laughs> blown another soap bubble, Hoppy. Oh, California, you're just making that up. Oh, I'm not. Three days I was in there. Oh. And then I see this rabbit coming digging down through the ceiling. Trying to wince at me, and we start digging together. And the first thing you know, we're out on top. <laughs> Oh, I sure was grateful to that rabbit. I kept him for a pet, fed him on care. He grew so big and tough on him, he just chased coyotes right off the ranch. California, I don't believe that. What's the difference, Johnny? At least his yarns cheer us up. There's the entrance, way up ahead. Yeah, that's right. Wait, Hoppy. Isn't that a man crouching down? Yeah. Wait a minute. Oh, it must be Bart. Hey, Bart! Quiet, quiet. That's funny. He ran. Just get up there. Oh, something's gone wrong here. Get back, all of you. Huh? He left something yeah, behind. You him. bet he did. Look out! <laughs> Water's piling up awful fast, Hoppy. Sure it is. The entrance blocked by that blast and that stream pouring in from the canyon. You think we can make it back to the canyon? Not a chance. That low place in the tunnel is plumb full of water by now. Oh. Steady, Myra. This is mighty serious, Hoppy. What do we do? Well, there may still be a way out, Judge, if we work fast. How? Something you said a while back gave me an idea. Hmm? What did you say the name of these falls was? Shoshoki Falls. Why? That's a Shoshone Indian name, isn't it? I guess so. Lots of Shoshones in these parts. Shoshoki. Oh, Hmm. They must have meant that it was near the fall somewhere. What do you mean, Hoppy? Hey, never mind. Let's get going. Well, which way? That's easy. See the smoke from these torches? Yeah. The air that's coming from the canyon can't get out down at the falls. But it's getting out some way, because that smoke's moving, and we're moving with it. Where your smoke goes, Hoppy. Nothing but a pile of broken rock clear to the ceiling. We'll never get out of here. Easy, Myra. Come on, Johnny, California. We're going to clear this rock out by hand. Now, start right at the top. All right. Uh, here. Here uh, if I ever get out of here, I'll never go through another waterfall. I never get like water anyway. Here, help me with this big one, will you? Okay. All right, now. Here we go. Right, I got it. Look out down there. Look out. Well, what do you know? Look through that hole. Well. Ah, kind of had a hunch, that's what we find. Steps. Hundreds of them. Cut right in the rock and going up to fresh air. Yippee! Let me at them. There's the Shoshoki. Hoppy, did you know we'd find this? Well, I wasn't sure. But in the Shoshone language, the word Shoshoki means long steps. Where's Crandall's office? Upstairs, but you can't go up. He's busy. But we're going up. Come on, Judge. But, Hoppy, I, I don't understand. I'm sorry, Judge. I'll show you something when we get upstairs. Uh, Johnny, California, you stay there and see that we're not disturbed. Right, Hoppy. Okay, Hoppy. Quiet now, Judge. I can hear him talking. Ah, uh, you listen to me, Bart. I made a deal with you to run off the judge's cattle so I could buy the ranch. My deal with you is washed up, Crandall. Oh, no, it isn't. I still want that ranch. You might have had a chance of getting it, Crandall, if you finished custody when you had your chance last night. You missed the chance first. 
You had a shot at him yourself last night through the window. And I got him today up there in the cave. And I got everything else I needed, too. With a judge in my right of the way, the ranch belongs to me, and I don't need my deal with you. The ranch and cattle are legally mine now. Look here, youngster. I don't care what you did to your family and Cassidy's outfit, but I do know that nobody's running out on Clark Crandall. My men are here to back up. Hey, you! Up those guns! Cassidy! Get out of it! Clark's going out the window! Stop him! Stop him! All right! Crandall, there's one thing you forgot. No man ever lived who could trade shots with Hopalong Cassidy. Uh, hand me those saddlebags, Johnny. All right. Well, Hoppy, I'm sure sorry to see you boys go. You helped us plenty. We're sorry to go, too, Judge. Especially Johnny. Look at him over there with Myra. Myra, uh, are you sure you wouldn't like to live in Arizona? <laughs> Sorry, Johnny, but I like it here. Well, Hoppy says Arizona's the greatest place in the country. If Hoppy would tell me that himself, it might be different. Oh, I, I see. Come on, Johnny. Let's be right. Okay, Hoppy. Goodbye, Myra. Goodbye, Johnny. Well, Johnny, California, let's head for Bar 20. been listening to Hop Along Cassidy as presented for your approval in Columbia's forecast series. This cowboy hero, favorite of screen-going millions, can be seen at your local theater now in his latest picture, Wide Open Town. This famous westerner has not, until tonight, been brought before the radio audience. Like Class of 41, which you heard earlier, and like all other programs which forecast presents, this was a sample broadcast intended to suggest the possibilities of a series based on an idea. If you enjoyed Hopalong Cassidy and would like to hear his adventures on the air regularly as a weekly half hour of entertainment, we should appreciate hearing from you by card or letter to your CBS station. Tonight's production was written and directed by Paul Pierce with music by Wilbur Hatch. Next Monday, in a complete full-hour presentation from Hollywood, you will hear forecast number nine, Country Lawyer, an unusual dramatic show based on the famous Bellamy Partridge book of the same name and starring the distinguished stage and screen star, Raymond Massey. Mr. Massey, in this character, plays against the varied background of life in a small town since the turn of the century, coming into contact with the problems that confront the country lawyer in his community, problems that deal with circus barkers and with murder trials with love stories and with swindlers, with marriages and mortgages, mail-order frauds and malpractices, carrying with him through them all the good humor and philosophy of the American way of life. Until next Monday, then, at forecast time, this is Bob Moon speaking. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. This has been a presentation of otrwesterns.com, and we hope you enjoyed. Please take some time to like and rate our shows in your favorite podcast application. Follow us on Facebook by going to otrwesterns.com slash Facebook. Join in the conversation by going to otrwesterns.com slash Discord. And don't forget to send us an email, podcast at otrwesterns.com. This episode is copyright under the attribution, not commercial, share like copyright. For more information, go to otrwesterns.com slash copyright. Have a great day, and again, thanks for listening.